What's up guys, I'm going to do a quick uh, little tutorial on how to basically print money in City of Heroes. First thing we need to do is get converters. You can just buy them straight up. I usually buy them in batches of 50 mil. So I'm just going to buy until I go to 200 mil. It doesn't really matter how much you buy, you're going to always use them all anyways um, let's see maybe the price went up could be the price went up or the the auction house is laggy right now um, let's see Uh, looks like they're going for 95k per. Usually the price is at 90k. So I'm just going to cancel all these orders. Or bids or whatever. Again, I'm just going to buy a batch of 50 mil. Right now I have I'm starting out with like a base of two fifty mil. So I can probably turn that into like an easily like six hundred plus mil. Um while that's going off, I'm just going to go to rarity, uncommon, enhancement, set this to fifty, tab fifty, and then I'll show you exactly which ones to buy. Quickfoot, it's pretty good. Check the price. If it's 333k, and then you go for it. Anything higher than that, not usually worth it. Scroll down. Rope a dope, definitely really good to get. All this is just three, 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 three. Nine times nine, like just like this. I just times nine, 333,000 times nine, just like that. So the stun is usually really good to get. These are too expensive. Fear is really good to get. See how it's going for 200k? You're gonna get. I'm gonna get a shitload of these. So you're basically just trying to get the uncommons nobody wants. So that means like fear, stun, sleep, confusion, that kind of stuff. Like this is gonna be too expensive. See one mil per. Not worth it at all. Uh, Red Fortune is going to be way too expensive because it converts into Luck of the Gamblers. Perplex is really good. Um, sometimes people are doing the same thing <laughs> as I'm doing right now, and the price can go up a little bit for these, but for the most part, they're pretty low. Anyways, I'm not going to buy every single one, but you get the idea. Kinetic Crash sometimes is pretty good. Yeah, I see that. Wow. Uh, 72 for sale, nine bit or three bidding. It's really good. Lethargic repos, really good. You usually can get a good amount of those. So yeah, everything else is uh, probably too expensive. So anyways, I'm just gonna get all my converters. Get all my L's. Oh, I already got a full inventory. It's what you want. All right. So I open up the converter window. I kind of move it over here. It just says my preference. You, sh you should just be moving the stuff around to make it as comfortable as for you as possible, because you're going to be working in these two or these three windows the most. Um, I'm just going to do one like set of trays just so you get the idea, and then um, you can go for that from there. Um, so you see I got reactive defense, you always keep that one, that's one you always want to keep. So anyways, the first thing you want to do, convert them all to rares. This one's already a rare, don't need to worry about it, this one's a rare. Rare, and see, the the sets I told you to get, like Ropado, always converts into a rare, first try. I'm not even looking, I know it's going to be a, a stupefy. Same with the any of the fears, the confusions, all that kind of stuff. Like these, like this, it's gonna it's gonna turn into a rare. 
first try because there's only other one rare uh there's only one other fear set that's uh that I can convert into and it's a rare set so it's always going to convert into a rare same with perplex this is going to turn into a rare see malaise's illusions um so yeah after that I just drag it in there. You see how it's there's two little settings you can put in set and out of set. Out of set will always default to rare, so I just drag it in there, convert, and I'm just going across the row like this really fast. I'm not even looking. Then when I'm done converting everything, I look. Let's see, Numinas. I only really care about the proc, knockback protection. That, that's good, so we keep that. So everything I want to keep, I just drag over to the side real quick, and I just keep converting. Obliteration, keep. Performance shifter, we look for the plus N. If we don't get the plus N, we, we just leave it. We keep converting. Now, there might be other more expensive IOs I don't know about that I'm currently converting. Like, you know, I don't know if Positron's Blast is actually worth a lot or not. I don't think it is, but, you know, it might actually be worth a lot uh, in the future or something, depending on the market. But for now, this is, like, what I know are the expensive ones or the good ones to convert to. Aegis, always keep those. Always want to keep it... Aegis, and if you don't get a resistance, endurance, resistance, or endurance recharge, or uh, just a res uh, resistance, you convert it until you get one of those three. You always want the resistance and resistance and recharge, or res resistance. And the same goes for defense, too. For any of the defense ones, like look at the gamblers, you always want like defense and defense and recharge and defense. Unbreakable guard, we keep that. We're gonna convert it too. We got resistance in, so we're gonna keep that. This one, reactive defenses, you always convert it. We're trying to get luck of the gamblers out of there. There we go, luck of the gambler defense, you just keep it there, you don't touch it. Reactive defense, that's basically another luck of the gambler. And then we see we're already up to three luck of the gamblers. Aegis, resistance and recharge. That's a good one. Keep that. Unbreakable Guard, Resistance Endurance, we keep that. Performer Shifter End Mod, get rid of that. Once the last one, I kind of go a little slower so I don't accidentally convert something worth a shit. Oops, see, I accidentally, I accidentally uh, converted that. Um, that Zephyr knockback reduction. Let's keep converting here. Okay, we'll just keep that. So after we got a full tray of what we want, oh, forgot to convert this. Let's get this to a luck of the gambler. I'm just gonna keep converting defense till I get luck of the gambler. There we go. Defense recharge. We don't want that. We want, okay, defense, that's good enough. So then I just click them all, put them all in the tray, or put them all in the auction house, and start selling. See how these are even? 308 bidding, 298 for sale. That means we kind of want to go lower on the price. So right now I see a couple 4 mils in there, so I'm going to go 3.5 mil. Resistance end, 50 for sale, 122 bidding. That's high demand, so we're going to put it at the default price. Again, higher amount of bidding than sale, sale, uh, selling, so we're going to sell it at the default price of what it's going for. See, this one's really good, so we can actually like put it for 5 mil and expect a, yeah, another one. See, these Aegis's are selling for 5 mils, so that's what you're going to get out of Luck of the Gamblers, too. So Aegis's are worth as much as Luck of the Gamblers, essentially. Even more so, because look at that, this is not going for that much. In fact, if you see the price is this low, like... See his defenses on Luck of the Gambler going for 4 mil. I'm just going to take them off the market and I'm just going to convert them again. Until I get with something that's what I like. There we go. Got the proc. Uh, or not the proc, but the global recharge. There we go. Two global recharges. Let's see. 6 mil. That's good. 
Look, uh, luckily gambler prices are kind of low right now. That's fine though. Uh, this is actually blessing of the Zephyr knockback protect, uh, reduction. I always put it up for three mil, no matter what, even when the price is low like this, because this one really fluctuates because it's always going up and down in price. But um. trying to get the price to show up here. Yeah, 3 mil. That's pretty good. Anything that sells for 3 mil or above is always something you want to keep. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's just do that one more time. Just so we know what to look for. Okay, just convert my uncommons to rares. Chance for plus N, always keep that. Look at the gambler. That's an obvious keep. Looking for preventive medicine absorb proc. We didn't get it, so we're just gonna ignore it. You don't even have to drag the IO over here, you can just drag it like on this button. Another plus N proc, that's really good. Just re-rolling all this trash. This is all trash. Trash, trash, trash. Oh. A breakable guard? That's good. We want that. Knockback protection? We'll keep that. Those always sell. Even when the price is shitty, like it is right now. Eventually it will so. Obliteration, we keep that. Unbreakable guard, good. Reactive defenses, immediately I'm gonna convert that. Get through that luck of the gambler, nice. Just like that. Regen recovery Numinas, you always keep those. That's the only Numinas you want, and an obliteration. So now we have a, a complete set. Let's put it on the market. And set conversion for the Luck of the Gambler. Let's see how much this defense and street charge is going for. Five mil? Okay, we're going to put it up. See, I'm checking before I put it on the market, make sure everything is what I want. Like Luck of the Gambler and recharge, we don't want that. So we're going to do it. In set conversion, defense and. Eh. Those are selling for pretty low, so we're going to convert it again. It's okay if we convert it a couple times. Defense, that's good. Okay, so. Put that up for 3 mil. Put this up for 3 mil. Luck of the Gamblers usually go at the lowest for 5 mil. At the lowest. If you're selling Luck of the Gamblers for anything less than 5 mil like this, I'm just going to... I'm just going to re-roll it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just put it up. Just to save time. Chance for plus N. Put that up for 4 mil. 4 mil. 4 mil. I always put these up for 3 mil. These uh, Blessing of the Zephyr knockback reductions. They, they always go up to 3 mil. Because you need a lot of those for your builds. If you're actually aiming for knockback protection. Let's see, region recoveries. That's another one that's going to sell for 4 mil. This is going for five mil. Yeah, so I hope that uh, kind of covers how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, you'll get faster at it the more you go, and you'll probably pick up on stuff that I didn't see. Maybe there's other procs that are good that I'm missing. Um, I haven't checked thoroughly every single IO in the game, so I don't know what is priced at what, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna go through. I'm just gonna go through it one more time, and but I'm not gonna talk. But you can just see me do it.
see right there, I just made like, I have 27 up for sale. You know, it's all three, four mil around there. I'm going to say like on average, it's like 3.5 mil. So, you know, just sitting right here, I just made 100 mil. So, there you go.